when you've lost your home or it's seriously damaged and when your community has lost much of its income, much of its CBD and many of its services, life can go into a bit of a strange holding pattern. People in the red zone areas of Christchurch certainly understand that. And Cam Booker understands it. Cam and two mates set up the Mount Pleasant Farmers Market in Christchurch 10 days after the 2011 earthquake and escape from people. It's still going. An escape for people. It's still going. So Cam decided Kaikoura needed a farmers market too. And today he made it happen. But the problem was getting the produce in. Uh, we brought a convoy of one of my wee trucks in through the State Highway 1 up to Oraro. And then we had a couple of four-wheel drives coming in as well as support vehicles and uh, one tonne inflatable boat that we needed to use to get it out to the shore uh, to Anton's uh, Rodfather's fishing charters boat. So part roads, part overland as far as you could go basically, and then you had to put all the produce on the water and bring it in that way, did you? Yeah, yeah, we uh, transferred it to an inflatable and then uh, ferried it out to um, a fishing charter boat. Which is a hell of an effort to go to. What have you brought in? What have you got to sell there this afternoon? Uh, we brought in lettuces, uh, tomatoes, asparagus, strawberries, red onions, cucumbers. Uh, what else have we got there? And also a load of fresh meat uh, from Euro Deli Meat, Euro Gourmet Meats in uh, Christchurch. That was this morning. Now, we let Cam set up the market, gave him an hour to sell a few things, and then we phoned him back. Um, uh, well, yeah, we had a massive crowd here arriving at uh, 12 o'clock, and uh, just everything in terms of the meat and the vegetables is about sold out now. And, and um, people so, must have been yeah. delighted to see you where they Cam. Yeah, no, no, it was great. So I think we're going to have to work on maybe trying to get up another run in a couple of days. Wait, wait a sec, it's one minute past one, so you've basically sold out in 61 minutes. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got lettuces and red onions left. Kim, um, wh why did you do this? What was it that made you want to do this? Well, we, we do farmers markets every week in Christchurch. We started one in Mountain Pleasant after the quake and uh, access to fruit and fresh fruit and vegetables, especially in this uh, scenario, is pretty difficult. There's nothing in the supermarket. Um, and it's also about yeah, building the, building the market and getting local people to buy local. And like, If we've got a range of uh, fruit and veggies up here, then you've got something to establish the market so the local traders can turn up and it gets the people here as well, so everyone benefits. Also, when times are tough, right you know when you're up against it the joy of just being able to go and buy something fresh and delicious is pretty great isn't it yeah and it's good i mean and in terms of us selling for stuff by the time we organize and get stuff and like we reduce prices and that to get up it's not about the money money for us it'll be a whole easier a whole lot easier for us to do it at home especially the challenges we had in getting here yeah yeah Cam, are there any customers nearby? Is there anyone left? Is there, is there anybody standing there looking very happy as they hold their lettuce or their sausages oh, yeah. or something? Can you see anyone? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I'll hand you over to Janine. Thank you, Cam. Hey, John, it's Janine here. Jan Janine, it's lovely to talk to you. We're recording you for Radio New Zealand, so there are a number of words you can't say. Oh, OK, I'll try and behave myself. <laughs> OK, you and me both. <laughs> hey, so what have you bought, Janine? I have bought um, lettuces, which in tomatoes, asparagus, carrots, zucchini, so I'm well stocked with all those sorts of things. If, you, if you've been without, you sort of really crave for. Yeah, fresh asparagus, new season asparagus. So yeah, you can't have, eat it. Oh, yum. So you haven't seen any fresh fruit and veggies for, ni for nine days, probably, you know, nothing. No, 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 it's, um, yeah, so it's like a real luxury. And yeah. you should have seen the number of people here. It's, um, yeah, it's amazing. Everybody came together and it's actually been a bit of a social occasion too. Just to catch up. Everyone's come out of the woodwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah out of, literally and metaphorically, I suspect, there will have been some people who, who've come out of some fairly damaged woodwork. What sort of next your house in? Well, I'm really lucky, actually. Our home, we're up on the peninsula and we're on limestone, so we had very minimal damage. So I feel quite safe up there, um, but our business um, suffered quite severely, but yeah. What, what's your business, Janine? Um, we've got the um, Kaikoura Hunting and Fishing Store, 
Oh, man. Yeah, so that's what, and we were actually, uh, last Monday, would have, we were moving into our, we were moving into a brand new building on last Monday. You oh, were yeah. not. So you were going to open a new premises for the summer season? Yes, yep. We we're all ready to ready to roll. So it's yellow ticket at the moment. So we're um, just really waiting for the engineer's reports and um, getting yeah getting that. And then we know where we stand, which which direction we're going to go, and make plans from there. And, but well, I, th I guess the thing you need more than anything else is customers, right? Yeah, that's the biggest thing. I mean. If we are okay to go ahead once the building six and we open, we've um, got a brand new building of you know bigger overhead um, and yeah no customers, so that's going to create a bit of yeah we, a few wee issues for us. A few wee issues. That's yeah, a, a, well, quite a few. <laughs> yeah, no, not that wee, but I guess no. I guess you feel like everyone's in the same boat, right? And so what? Oh, everybody. Yeah. Just, everyone in this town, some way or other. The lack, with the lack of people coming here. So, yeah, one way or another, someone's affected. Janine Sanford, who is a retailer in Kaikoura, also has some boats that she takes people out fishing on. She can't do any of that at the moment.